Okay, I told y'all in the um the intro video to this week that I was gonna spend four minutes, literally. Start me at thirty seconds, and at four thirty, if not before that, I'm done talking about it. Cause I promise you, I don't want to get a situation any more life than I needed to. So. Last week it was announced that LeBron James, um, for you guys who are sports illiterate like myself, because quite frankly, if I didn't live in Cleveland, I wouldn't know who the fuck LeBron James was. So apparently LeBron James, for you guys who are confused, used to play for the Cleveland Cavaliers five years ago, and the last his last season was five years ago, but he played for him for like maybe like, hell, it had to be at least four to five years, I would think. So since I was in high school, so it had to be at least five years prior. So about ten years ago, he was really blowing up in Cleveland. Apparently, he's from Cleveland. Well, technically, I heard he's from Akron, and Akron and Cleveland are yeah twenty minutes away from each other, but I don't consider them to be the same at all. So um, last four years ago, he decided to go and play for Miami Heat, um, and people here in Cleveland were all up in arms. I mean, people were burning jerseys. They tore down a sign downtown. They, was, they had this real big sign downtown on one of the buildings of LeBron James, like with his arms out, like he was Jesus on the cross. And it said witness or something like that, or we witnessed, something like that. So they tore that sign down. People was reading him down all over the WWWs. And he was just like, I'm, I'm going to Miami to give me a championship ring because apparently Cleveland isn't doing it for me. So, he went down there, played for four years, and then now this year, he is now coming back. He signed a two-year contract, apparently, and he's going to be playing for the Cavs again. He left this really long, moderately sentimental. I mean, if you have a sensitive heart, you'd be touched, but I didn't give him much of a fuck. I read it, but it was basically said in so many words, I love Cleveland. Cleveland has always been my hometown, and... I, oh, I struggled with the decision to leave, but I, it was like my college experience, and now I'm coming back, and this time I'm with my bag, and things of that nature. It was, it, I guess it was kind of cute, but in a sense, if you really don't give a fuck, you just don't give a fuck. So now the same thing that happened here in Cleveland when he left is now happening in Miami. People down there burning jerseys. There was allegedly a fire set at his old house. They set the man's house on fire, Okay. <laughs> um, Chris, okay, it was Dwayne Wade, the one that everybody says is gay but is married. What's his name? Um, Chris, Chris Bob, Chris Bosh, Chris Bosh, him, um, and LeBron. Now, allegedly, Chris is leaving too. So, Dwayne, aka the man who's married to Gabrielle Union, is gonna be down there by himself. I'm so sick of the Illuminate Company because they will not pay my bill. And that's going to ring again. Turn the ring off. Got it before it rings. So anyway, let me just say this. And I have a minute to say it. LeBron, I'm, I guess I'm mildly excited that you're coming back to Cleveland. I don't really care much. The only reason I care is because you are a high-profile athlete. Which means there was allegations that Drake is going to move to Cleveland. For what reason, I don't fucking know. However, I do care because... If Drake comes move to Cleveland, then he's going to bring some paparazzi attention, which means I need to get my socialite attention up and get all out. And then so they can be like, who's this dude from um, in Cleveland? And we all taking pictures of him and they're going to take the pictures back and put them on the WWWs. Then I'm going to blow up all over the WWWs. And that's essentially what I want in our life. So LeBron, I guess in so many words, I am saying, welcome home, but please bring paparazzi with you. And Drake. And the rest of the um, YMCA people. Nikki, um, Little Flicky, Twister, and Hurricane Sandy. All of them. Bring them all. Because the more y'all that show up, the more paparazzi y'all get. So, I love you guys for watching. It's 430.